Good morning, it's great to have your company this Monday the 15th of March. I'm Jessica Ramir, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the rotation out of tech stocks and into economic recovery comeback kids is continuing. On Friday in the US, we saw the Nasdaq lose 0.6 of a percent, while the blue chip index, the Dow Jones, continued to rise, lifting almost 1%, hitting a brand new record high, with banks and industrial stocks doing quite well after those $1,400 stimulus checks hit bank accounts at the weekend. Standout stocks in the US, mostly those benefiting from the return to normalcy. Viacom CBS up 10%, continuing to do well after Oprah interviewed Harry and Meghan. L Brands, which is the owner of Victoria's Secret, rose 9% to a four-year high after the company upgraded their outlook and reinstated their dividend. And Boeing rose 7% again after receiving an order for 24 737 MAX jets. Airlines also did well. Vaccine stocks also doing well, like Novavax up 8 And the US-listed Mesoblast rose 2.2%. So you'd think MSB listed on the ASX will follow and do well today. Now, what to watch more broadly? Well, the Aussie share market is suggesting a flat start to the week. Why? Because Australian bond yields rose back to two-year highs again. So this week, we're likely to see companies with high debt like tech stocks sell down and investors will continue to back those larger companies with strong balance sheets like banks and airlines, which are doing well of late following the government's extra stimulus. But the focus today, four key areas. Firstly, the RBA governor's speech. Secondly, new home sales data at 11.30. So I'd be keeping companies on the pulse like CSR, BLD and BKW, and mortgage loan providers like Mortgage Choice MOC and Resimac RMC, as well as Suncorp SUM. And thirdly, China's industrial production data is out today for Feb. So I'd be watching rare earth stocks stocks like Linus, LYC, Vital Metals, MVL, and keep them on your radar also because they're in breakouts. But separately, other rare earth companies to watch include Northern Minerals, NTU, and Rare X, RWE. The fourth area of focus, the S&P, ASX 200, and 300 changes that were announced on Friday. The changes will take place on the 22nd of March. So I'd be watching companies that will be added to the top 200 index like Champion Iron, CIA, Nickel Mines, NIC and Newix NXL. And watch companies being added to the larger ASX 300 like Brainship, BRN, Chalice Mining, CHN and Piedmont Lithium, P. So why is this important? Well, stocks added to the indices like the ASX 200 and the ASX 300 will be compulsorily acquired by ETF providers and those what will be removed uh, will be sold down. So that's why it's important to watch them separately today. Keep an eye on iron ore stocks. The iron ore fines price, which is the most traded price, continued to fall. It sells 2%, taking the iron ore price now to a 15-day low because China is cracking down on steel production in a bid to curb pollution. I'd also keep an eye on some of those most traded stocks from Friday for our active trader desk, Bell Direct Advantage. They included ONE, PRL and HEHE. And later in the week, all eyes will be on employment data for Feb. The unemployment rate is expected to improve and fall from 6.4 to 6.3 percent with 29,000 Aussies gaining jobs last month but we'll see what the figures come out at 11:30 on Thursday trading ideas lastly that could be worth a look will Bell Potter reiterated cyclo farm CYC as a buy a $3.79 target now CYC will be added to the much broader All Ordinaries, which is the top 500 stocks index. And on Friday, CYC did announce that they're expecting US FDA approval for their lung imaging agent on the 26th of June. And after it is uh, approved and if a decision is granted by the US FDA, after the company continues to uh, roll out around the world, particularly in the US, their sales are tipped to more than double. Now separately, Bell Potter published a report of their prospective and preferred explorers to watch. They include LTR, XAM and CHN. Now all of those are uh, prospective and speculative buy. So keep that in mind. And lastly, Noxo Farm, NOX, Ava Risk Group and Navigator Global Investment, NGI. Could be worth a look. They're giving off bullish charting signals according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Ramirez with Bell Direct. Thanks for your company. Happy trading.